new dedicated freight corridors or DFC built by Indian Railways will be a huge benefit for those who move goods across India. On the other hand, truck drivers are worried. Will we lose our loads due to DFC? In this video, let's discuss what DFC is, its benefits and disadvantages. Currently, both passenger and goods trains run on the same tracks. Due to this, goods trains are delayed because of priority given to passenger trains. To address this issue, the dedicated freight corridors will provide separate tracks exclusively for goods trains. About 90% of work is completed, covering nearly 2,800 kilometers. It has two main sections. Eastern DFC with 1,839 kilometers which connects Ludhiana to Dankuni, supporting industries and farming areas. Western DFC with 1,499 kilometers which links Mumbai's JNPT port, enhancing imports and exports. To give a clearer understanding, here is the key features of DFCs. Separate tracks allow an average speed of 100 km per hour. Increased capacity to carry loads up to 13,000 tons. Trucks can be transported on trains, making it easier to unload and reload at the destination. Trains running on fixed timetables, minimizing the stops. Now, let's talk about benefits of DFCs and why this can make a real difference. Timely delivery is guaranteed, avoiding delays. The DFC offers cost-effective solutions for bulk transportation, providing ample space to accommodate larger volume of goods. Reduces air pollution by shifting from rail to road. Booking processes are simplified. Companies like Amazon and Maruti Suzuki already use goods trains for long distance transport. While there are several advantages to consider DFC, the major drawback is the need for multi-model transport. Let's imagine if a customer orders an electronic item, first it's sent to a warehouse and loaded into a train. Once it reaches a terminal, it's transferred to a truck for final delivery. With each transfer, process becomes more complex. If the TV is damaged or delayed, determining who's responsible can be unclear. To have door-to-door -door service, DFC has combined with trucking road network. This requires better planning and increases chances of shortages and damages. The shift to rail-based freight transport through DFC brings opportunities but it also poses challenges for truckers. Let's discuss them. Currently, 70% of material moves by road. Even if 10% opt for DFC for long-distance transport, truck drivers could face a significant losses due to this 10% loss in demand. Why? Already, truck rates are lower. Moreover, inflation in diesel price, toll cost, driver cost are causing significant stress on truck owners. Moreover, drop in demand will reduce truck rates causing significant losses for truck owners. This means truck drivers will have to make more trips just to meet their monthly EMIs and profit targets. While multi-model logistics being reshaped, can they bring equal benefits for both truckers and shippers? Even if truckers adapt to DFC, what guarantees their business stability? How beneficial will be DFC for shippers and what consequences do truckers need to face? Share your thoughts in the comments.